Hi, Zach Dalton here from Rio Products with another how-to video. Today we're in beautiful Cayo Largo, Cuba on some fantastic tarpon flats, but we've got some washed out skies right now. And while we're waiting for the sun to come back so we can see some fish, I thought I'd give you a couple basic um, uh, tips and techniques that help better my uh, chances for success on tarpon flats. First, I'd like to show you just how I basically stack up my line and get it ready uh, so I'm prepared when I see a fish. First, I'm gonna take the leader off of the reel. I'm gonna back the drag off a little bit and I'm gonna peel off about what I think is the maximum amount of line that I can effectively fish here. Typically, I'm working with about 70 to 85 feet of fly line and I'll shorten that up or lengthen it out depending on the conditions. I've stripped off about 70 or 80 there. And I'm gonna reset my drag, make sure that I've got it a good resistance, enough resistance that it's uh, gonna be, I'm gonna confidently fight a tarpon if I hook one. Next, I'm gonna make a couple of false casts to make sure that I've got the right amount of line and I can turn over the amount that I've got stripped off. I didn't cast all that out there, so I'm just gonna shorten that up so I don't introduce any twist into the fly line because I'm not shooting all of it on a cast. Next, I'm gonna restack the fly line on the deck of the boat here. So on my next shot, if I'm shooting, all that belly is gonna come off first and that's gonna help minimize the amount of tangles that you might encounter during the day. After my line's stacked up nicely, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna take my fly and I'm gonna create a leash. And the leash is the amount of line that's outside of the rod tip. And you'll vary the length of the leash. If you've got tough winds and tough conditions, you might shorten that leash up to just a couple of feet. Um, or if you've got bad skies like we have and we're not gonna see fish close up, we're gonna have a short cast. I just wanna be able to turn it over right there and hopefully get a strip. When we've got bright sun and we've got white sands and we've got more line to work with, I'm gonna work with a longer leash. I'm gonna get about upwards of nine or 10 feet of fly line outside the rod tip. So I'll get that set. And when I'm in position, it makes it really easy for me to start with a little bit longer leash. I can come over the top, get one fly to turn over, and then I can work with one or two false casts max to present on the tarpon. One of the most important things to pay attention to in tarpon fishing is line management and holding onto your fly line when you make a shooting cast. I often see a lot of anglers that just let go of the line and then they're scrambling trying to pick it up so they can get in contact with the fly. A much better method to that is to keep a very loose grip on the fly line so you can kind of control it, just like you're double hauling. But let that line slide through your fingers so you can stop it if you need to turn it over sooner than you expected. And then you're immediately pinching down and going into a strip. You get that much more control. Make sure you pay attention to the fly line and keeping nice and connected. When you're out on the flats looking for tarpon, you're looking for four, three or four basic things. You're typically looking for fish that are rolling. Um, they might have their tail in the air. Um, but if you've got good bright sun, you're looking for fish that could be swimming. They could also be rolling. And then thirdly, you could be looking for fish that are floating or laid up in the backcountry. If you do hook a tarpon, it's important to fight the fish effectively. Side pressure and pulling with a flat horizontal rod angle weakens the fish far quicker than a high vertical rod angle. Here's an example of side pressure pulling around 8 to 10 pounds on the scale. A vertical rod with a high tip only pulls around three to six pounds. I hope those tips and techniques help improve your chances of catching tarpon on the flats like they have mine. Thanks for tuning in. <laughs>